the word calculus has a most interesting history. It may mean today a branch of mathematics or a concretion of minerals in the body like uh, in the kidney. How come these two so different things are called by the same name? Encyclopedia Britannica reports that about 15 before Christ the Roman architect and engineer Vitruvius mounted a large wheel of known circumference in a small frame in much the same fashion as the wheel is mounted on a wheelbarrow. When it was pushed along the ground by hand it automatically dropped a pebble into a container at its revolution giving a measure of the distance traveled. It was in effect the first Odometer. Wikipedia dates uh, this uh, odometer of Vitruvius a few years earlier and notes that uh, the original idea may be due to Archimedes. Anyway, this odometer of Vitruvius or odometer of Archimedes was used to measure distances by calculating how many stones had fallen into the container. In the antique Rome, Roman numerals were used for computations. These numerals are capital case letters. Letter I denotes 1, V5, X10, L50, C100, D500, and M1000. The difficulty in computing with Roman numerals lies in the fact that uh, the rules for forming large numbers were pretty complicated. So for example number 6 is denoted by VI that is the symbol for 5 followed by the symbol for 1 that is 5 plus 1 which is 6 seems pretty logical. But number 4 is denoted I followed by V. So the symbol for 1 followed by the symbol for 5. And this means 5 minus 1, which is 4. So in this way, 2011 is denoted MMXI. That is 1000, 1000, 10 and 1. This seems clear. But 449 is denoted CDXLIX, that is the symbol of, for 100 preceding the symbol for 500, so CD means 400. Then symbol X for 10 is preceding symbol L for 50, XL means 40. And then finally symbol I for 1 preceding symbol X for 10 means 9. So this is 449. Pretty complicated. Now Roman numerals today are used for example to number Super Bowl games, to number sequences of calculus courses, calculus 1, calculus 2, calculus 3. They are usually written calculus and then capital case I, calculus capital case II and calculus I, I, I. And then finally, to number list items like this list, there are several other uses of Roman numerals today. Consider the following problem expressed in Roman numerals. Compute MDCVII minus XXIX divided by CCLXIII. Computing this within the Roman numeral system is hard because we do not have convenient algorithms for subtraction or for division. And therefore, practically the only way to perform computations is to use stones and Romans use pebbles, small stones, or calculi, which is plural for calculus, that is a Latin word for stone, to aid computations. So you take simply MDCVII pebbles 
and you subtract out of that x, x, i, x pebbles, you are left with uh, a number of pebbles, which you then divide into cc, lx, i, 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 little piles. And then the number of pebbles in each pile is then the result of this computation. To facilitate computations, these pebbles were then arranged on a computing table, an abacus. The word abacus comes from the Greek genitive form of abax, which means calculating tables. So calculations in the antique Rome required pebbles or required calculi. In this drawing, which is from the book by Gregor uh, Reis, Margarita Philosophica, from the year 1508, you see a man performing computations with the Hindu Arabic number system, what we use today, and uh, another man performing computations using an abacus and using these pebbles. Now clearly in this picture the man you using Hindu Arabic number system for computation seems much more affluent and more modern and uh, more satisfied than the man computing with pebbles. This kind of uses of pebbles in computations gave the word calculus its present meaning as a branch of mathematics. Let us return to the problem presented in the beginning. Compute MDCVII minus XXIX divided by CCLXIII. In the antique Rome, it required special advanced expertise to be able to perform arithmetic computations like this one. Only very few people were able to do that. Now we can compute this by converting these Roman numerals into our usual numbers. MDCVII is 1,500 plus 100 plus 5 plus 2. So that is 1,607. And then we subtract from that XXIX. XX equals 20. IX is 9. So we subtract 29. And we divide that by CC LXIII. So CC means 200. LX means 60 and III means 3. So we divide this difference by 263. This is a computation suitable for a fourth grader. Any fourth grader basically can do a computation of this type and get the result 6. Therefore, when we convert this back to the Roman numerals, MDCVII minus XXIX divided by CCLXIII is simply VI. To compute this in Rome required pebbles. So one could compute this Roman numeral arithmetic computation by 1607 pebbles, but it is very tedious. With abacuses, one can use less pebbles, but the computation is still difficult to carry out. Using our normal number system, this is easy, and any fourth grader should be able to do a computation of this type. Want to learn more? Visit www.webalt.com.